Hello and welcome to Anna's Travel Talk. I'm your host, Anna Hoy, and I'm so glad that you're here today. I am very excited because I have Scott Fujinaga from the Las Vegas Visitors and Convention Authority, and he is my Las Vegas insider. So you are a Las Vegas lover like myself or interested in going to Las Vegas, have I got a treat for you. Today, we're going to talk about the latest and greatest, what's hot and what do you need to know about Vegas. So join me in welcoming Scott. Welcome, Scott. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, Anna. Glad to be here with you today. So yes, talking everything Las Vegas, what's going on here? Yeah, I'm excited just looking at your background. It makes me want to be, get in my car. I'm here in LA and we have listeners or um, viewers, I should say, from all over the place. So I'm just like a four hour drive to you. So I'm ready to get out and get there. <laughs> yeah, we got a long weekend this weekend. So you should hop on out. Yeah, and, for sure, for sure. So go ahead. I was going to say, and you know, just last week, they announced that we don't have a Nevada state mandate on mask anymore. So you can come enjoy Woo! all the things here in Las Vegas with a little more freedom. Uh, there is one caveat though, They're, they are requiring masks on public transportation. Um, so ride shares, taxis, obviously at the airport, on the airplanes um, and any transportation hubs. But yeah, Las Vegas is that kind is of back to its news. normal glory. Yeah, that's fun. Are they still doing the six foot separation like at the slots and at the tables? Are they still doing the partitions and all that good stuff? No, we actually removed that um, in June of 2021. So that uh, kind of disappeared. And the only mandate oh, nice. that we had was wearing a mask. So we like to say there aren't many rules here, but the only one was the mask and was being the, you know, term of the term of the week this week. So uh, we're very excited to be moving. Oh, into the that's future. exciting. Well, good. I'm so glad to hear that. So I know we're going to get into some updates on what's going on with Las Vegas. And I think we're going to start with um, sports. Is that correct? Yes. Tennessee. I know that's a big venue. People want to come for sporting events all year long, really. But um, I'm excited to hear what's the latest and greatest in the sports area. Well, Anna, we don't like to say that we're a venue. We like to say that we're the greatest arena on earth. And I think that's been proven with all the different sports, professional sports scenes that we've had join us here in Las Vegas, starting with the NHL Vegas Golden Knights. We have a WNBA team. We have a United Soccer League team that plays downtown. We have a minor league baseball team. And then, of course, we have the NFL Raiders playing right off the Las Vegas Strip at Allegiant Stadium. It's our brand new yes, 65,000 seat stadium. But it, yeah, it looks amazing. Now, obviously you've been to a, a game there, have you not? Oh yes, I've been to a few. So I've been very fortunate to go in that state-of-the-art stadium. Um, there's club seats that they bring drinks to you from your mobile device, you just order them, they come right to you in, in just in minutes, really. Then there's even a nightclub in the end zone. So at the, you know, at the end zone, you can be sitting in a nice banquet seating, table, bottle service, DJ, a lot of fun for both pre and post game. So yeah, they definitely did a great job with yeah. that one. Yeah, that's what I call a VIP service. And I think that we have a video to share too. Would this be a good time for me to, to click and share that video? Let's roll the video. Sports. All right. Now give me one, <laughs> one <laughs> second here. Let's get this going. All right. Here we go. Uh oh. It worked five seconds ago, did it not? Okay. Here we go. You don't come to Las Vegas. You hear Vegas that, okay, Scott? One game, one race, one fight. One matchup or one team. You come for the epic pregame and three days of postgame. You come for the showtime and go time and 24 hours of prime time because the game is just the beginning. Las Vegas, the greatest arena on earth. Oh, yeah, that looks fun. Um, are you a big sports fan? Do you watch? Um sports a lot like do you get into the boxing and the different events that are going on throughout the town you know I leave that for the visitors to come and enjoy I actually <laughs> love going to I love football so I do go and watch the Raiders games when I can uh, but like 
NHL, my boss, Kelly, she loves going to those. So I'm like, all right, you can take those. Even though I enjoy it, I enjoy watching it when I do have the opportunity, but um, football would be more of my wheelhouse. More up your alley, right? Better. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to, uh, to, to come for um, a visit to the this new stadium because like I said, I've only seen it from the outside so far and it's amazing. Um, so I know the, another area that is a huge interest and in, especially right now with February with 222 and 222-22 that weddings are a huge event, I guess I would say, and in Las Vegas. And I know that you guys have something special going on in regards yeah. to weddings. We like to consider ourselves the wedding capital of the world. I think that we kind of, I think that's stated everywhere. Uh, we are planning to celebrate the 5 millionth wedding license being issued here in Clark County. And oh, that wow. should be happening sometime uh, this spring. So we're very excited and we're doing a lot of promotions around that. So uh, we like to, we had this new campaign rollout that's called Forever Happens Here. And with that, uh, there also is a new website that the Clark County uh, um, wedding office made up with some promotions. So it's at weddings.vegas and you can um, download their passport book. So there's some specials if you're gonna be married. They have all the tips on, on arranging a wedding here. So from everything from the proposal to the bachelor, bachelorette party, the ceremony, and then also the renewal, we can accommodate all of those activities here in Las Vegas. So even if you don't get married here, you can still have a memorable experience within your uh, romance relationship. Oh, that's amazing. And I don't know if I told you, but I actually got married in Las Vegas quite a few years ago, but I actually got married in Las Vegas. So I'm one of those in that statistic. That You're you one of the 5 million. That's awesome. Yes, <laughs> I know. Speak <laughs> quite a big number. And I think we have a video on the weddings as well, right? Should I go ahead and click that? Yes, please. Let me get the right video. Yeah. So um, this video highlights all of the different uh, venues, different options. You get a backdrop for every persona that you're looking for here in Las Vegas. Yeah, I think you're, like you mentioned, it's a great place for people to um, get engaged and of course get married, go on a honeymoon and really big on the bachelor, bachelorette area. You have a lot to offer. So let's take a look. <laughs> Amazing. So if you're wondering awesome. where that red room is, that's located at the Shag Room. It's called the Shag Room. It's a kind of a speakeasy of sorts. So it's behind the Commons Club at Virgin Hotels Las Vegas, one of our newer hotels here in town. So they have um, the Shag Room, multiple different little um, like Moroccan style tents or, um, with, or yurts kind of within each of that area back there. So really cool to check out. I love the speakeasies. I think it's so cool. Um, and I was watching one of your insider videos recently and it was showing some of the little speakeasies. And it's like, I think one of them was like a, a picture of a donkey or something like that. And if you see that, that's the, the speakeasy. That's <laughs> exactly know? right, yeah. Or, yeah, or you go into this place and you move something and then you're in the speakeasy. Like those things are really cool. Like, you know, insider fun things. Um, it kind of makes me, it makes it feel like exclusive and secret. Um, those are really fun. <laughs> those are little insider tips that a travel advisor can share with their clients. So that's the, that's a huge value. Yeah, absolutely. So I think um, we are going to take a look at some new hotels. You mentioned the Virgin. I know that there's several new hotels. Um, let's take a look at the hotels. What do we got going on with new hotels? Yeah, so Virgin Hotels Las Vegas is uh, uh, the former Hard Rock Hotel. So it's located just off the Las Vegas Strip, but they completely reimagined the property. Actually, they were able to close down and do all the renovations during COVID. So it worked out perfectly. And uh, they reopened great new restaurants, uh, guest rooms, all three towers. Uh, you know, so they really re reimagined the entire property from the inside to the out. So definitely worth checking out. Then on the Las Vegas Strip, we had Resorts World open up. That is three different hotel, Hilton hotel brands in one. And I forgot to mention also that Virgin Hotels is part of the Hilton Curio Collection. So you can earn rewards okay. for staying at uh, the Virgin Hotels. 
And then oh, nice. Resorts World on the Las Vegas Strip is located where the former Stardust was years ago. So on the north end of the Las Vegas Strip, there's the three different brands I mentioned, Hilton, Hotels and Resorts, Conrad, which is the largest Conrad in the world, uh, with about 1,500 rooms as part of that complex, and then Crockford's, which is part of the Hilton LXR or Luxury Independent Collection. So you have three different experiences, LXR being your more elevated, intimate um, setting. They have just under 300 rooms in that um, building each, or in that, I guess, tower or experience. Each of the different brands have their own portico share. You walk up or drive up, you have your own check-in areas, but yet they have the shared amenities of the entire casino resort. Then downtown- well, That's really unique, right? That's very unique. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, it, it's so that everyone can enjoy the same amenities, but, you know, go back to their own style of luxury and retreat in their guest rooms. So um, whatever your budget, whatever your experience that you're looking for, you can kind of enjoy it all together. Yeah, and I love that there's three different hotels. So whatever your level of, um, you know, ex luxury, you can kind of pick which one, you know, fits in what you're looking for for that weekend or that vacation. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, isn't there something unique about the vehicles? Um, aren't there like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The non-person operating vehicles? <laughs> Can't oh, think of what the word autonomous is. vehicles. So, um, no, so Resorts World you. is also- <laughs> resorts The word World wasn't coming to me. <laughs> yeah, so they're gonna be, Resorts World is gonna be the first hotel to be linked up with the Las Vegas Convention Center's um, Las Vegas Loop. So it's an underground tunnel system that was bored by Elon Musk's boring company. And they have built this system under the convention center to transport guests from one hall to the other as the campus does span about two miles. They aren't autonomous at this time, but that is the plan. So they are Tesla electric vehicles that run under this tunnel and they're building the tunnel right now and the station at Resorts World to the Las Vegas Convention Center. We should see in the future, the Boring Company roll this out throughout all of Las Vegas, connecting multiple different points from the airport to the strip, the stadium, and then even to downtown. And speaking of downtown, wow. we actually have a new resort there as well. The first new resort in downtown in over 35 years, it's called Circa Las Vegas, and they feature Stadium Swim, which is a cool amphitheater. They have the world's largest sports book, and they even have a rooftop uh, lounge called the Legacy Club. So while this is a sports themed hotel, it is very sports centric. So it's probably one of the great uh, arenas that we have here to watch and enjoy um, sports here in Las Vegas. Yes, I, I saw some videos and pictures of it and it looks really fun. I'm gonna have to check it out. Like where to stay, right? Where to stay when you come to Vegas? There's so many options. There are so many options. Like I said, we have something for everyone here, not within just one resort, but within the entire valley and destination. So if you're looking for a retreat out in, um, you know, just 35 minutes away, uh, we have Lake Las Vegas, where we have some non-gaming, beautiful resorts, golf courses. Uh, you know, we have, you can be in the heart of all the action on the Las Vegas trip or take a you know kind of unique stroll through all the art and culture that we have in downtown Las Vegas. Yeah, I like it. You can come many times and have a completely different experience. And that's one of the things I think I really enjoy about Las Vegas is, you know, I, I've probably been there over 50 times and every time it's a totally different experience. So I know we talked a little bit about hotels and I believe there's some new restaurants as well. Yes, yeah, we started with the speakeasies. We got um, some speakeasies in restaurants as well. So like Bugsy and Myers oh. at the Flamingo has the count room. They actually have live entertainment on Friday and Saturday. They just started in their little speakeasy there. They have a little um, cocktail cart that comes around as well. So really cool. It's something to check out. Um, some new restaurants that I'd like to highlight are these uh, supper clubs. That's a new concept. So uh, the Mayfair at Bellagio was the first to open. It overlooks the Bellagio fountains. And what it does is um, include entertainment and dining in one experience. So as the evening ramps up, let's say you got in there around five o'clock, you might have a light pruner, um, a piano player, some ambient music playing. As the evening progresses, the so does that entertainment value ramps up to where one, the entertainers will be dancing through the tables and then they'll get the people up and start dancing as well. It's a lot of fun. Then Delilah, concept out of Los Angeles, 
um, opened up at the Wynn. So that's another um, supper club that's beautiful atmosphere that they have their indoor outdoor seating they have as well. And then um, Super Frico at the Cosmopolitan. It's a concept, it's called the American Italian Psychedelic that's at the Cosmopolitan as part of the Spiegel World vision. So if you're familiar with Opium, that show it, um, it, it is in the theater there connected to Super Frico, the supper club at Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. Oh, that's and, cool. I'm gonna have to check that one out. I've been to the Mayfair. I've had that experience. Oh, wonderful. It's, really yes. it's a lot of fun. Yeah, they even have an after dark at Mayfair. But back at the Cosmopolitan, after or before, you can go to uh, Ghost Donkey, as you mentioned. That's where they have that little donkey on the back of the door on the second floor in the Block 16 Urban Food Hall. It's a tequila mezcal bar. And they also serve some nachos, my favorite being the truffle nachos that they have there. On the oh, first wow. floor of the casino, <laughs> they have another uh, speakeasy. It's called the Barbershop. It's an actual working barbershop where you can go and get your hair cut. You walk through the janitor store and then you enter this beautiful lounge with some live music um, so and craft cocktails. So definitely worth checking out. Then oh, at Resorts World, we're not done yet. No, there's many more. But, no, um, there's much more. <laughs> and there's much more, yes. <laughs> um, at Resorts World, they actually, in their famous foods, Urban Food Hall, they opened Here Kitty Kitty. So you have to find this kind of bodega in their um, street eats food hall and uh, enter that. And it's called Here Kitty Kitty Vice Den. Uh, so you can enjoy some cool craft cocktails. And you know it's a little secret that um, some may not know that exists here in Las Vegas. I also um, challenge you to find the secret pizza place at the Cosmopolitan as well. So we got a little hidden oh. gems all around. <laughs> Yes, I told you earlier that I love that. And I think it's, uh, we could do a whole video just on the secrets of, of Las Vegas, you know, <laughs> insider secrets that uh, somebody like myself would really be interested in knowing. And then in addition to all the, the restaurants and the hotel, there's some new attractions um, as well. Yeah, so one of the most popular ones uh, would be Area 15. And this is a complete entertainment complex. It's an experiential mall, I like to call it. Uh, so there's multiple different tenants and different uh, attractions, experiences that you can have within. Right outside, they just opened up Liftoff, which is a bar that starts on the ground level, floats you up to the top, and you have this amazing view of the city uh, just from your, you're seated, you have cocktails served to you, really cool experience. So Liftoff at Area 15. They have another bar experience or drinking experience uh, in Lost Spirits. This is a concept out of Los Angeles that uh, you go to multiple tasting rooms. They kind of dub this as the Willy Wonka of liquor and spirits. Uh, so you go through these whimsical rooms that um, kind of remind you of Balinese um, streets, uh, if you will, and multiple different unique room experiences, tasting different spirits throughout. Uh, Illuminarium is gonna be opening there as well soon. So that's gonna be a complete immersive 3D walled um, visual, digital, digital projection uh, experience, if you will. So it's really cool. So we're looking forward to that opening up uh, soon. So hopefully next month that will be opening up at Area 15. They have and so axe throwing. I forgot to and, ask you, uh, sorry to interrupt. Are these experiences all throughout the day or are they evening experiences? Um, they start in the daytime. So I believe Area 15 opens up um, around 10 o'clock in the morning, um, give or take. And then some of the experience may not open till the early afternoon or later in the afternoon. So it, it kind of just depends. I um, urge people to go online, check out and make reservations for some of these experiences like Lost Spirits you need to make a reservation for. Okay, perfect. Because that was my next question. I was going to ask yeah. if you need to make reservations. Um, I've, I've seen it. I've seen videos of it and it looks amazing. And it's on my list for next time that I come to town. So, um, so those tips were kind of for the audience and for myself as well. <laughs> <laughs> so and back on the Area Las Vegas 15, Strip. Sorry, yeah, go sorry. Ahead. No, my bad. Go ahead. Back on the Las Vegas Strip, we have Arcadia Earth that just opened up. So that's an experiential Earth. Um, what do they call it? Um, extended reality experience. So that's a new attraction on the Las Vegas Strip. We have Flyover Las Vegas. is kind of like a soaring California where you're seated and go through um, the Wild West. Um, you know, in a completely immersive. Uh, IMAX type experience that touches all five senses. So really wow. Cool. 
Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be um, getting on that, getting jumping on the bandwagon, so to speak, right? Yeah, and if you're up for a little more um, speed and adventure, Speed Vegas Motor Sports Park um, recently revamped. So they now have go-kart racing there. They have the off-road experience and exotics racing all in one attraction. So um, that's, you know, another great opportunity to do a ride along or driving experience with the, their exotic or muscle cars. And then my personal favorite is getting in their trucks and doing the off-road experience where you take those um, $250,000 trucks and get them uh, airborne. So definitely something to um, think about when coming to Las Vegas, if you're looking for some more thrill and adventure. Oh yeah, I can see that. I saw some video on that and it does look really fun. <laughs> And then what else do we have coming up? Um, um, is that it for our new attractions? Yeah, those are some of the more popular ones that are new. Uh, we have a, a flight club coming soon, which is gonna be a dart throwing experience that's gonna be over at um, the Grand Canal shops at the Venetian Resort. So that's where you have your own little bay. You can gather your friends, throw some darts, enjoy some cocktails. Uh, Camus Ultra Karaoke Lounge is another new one that opened up, which is also um, where you can, kind of hang out with your friends in a private intimate setting. They have multiple different unique styled rooms um, where you can enjoy food and beverage and just kind of singing, partying, playing with your friends in a private setting. That's great for groups. Like we talked about earlier about bachelor or bachelorettes or just like a girlfriend's weekend or a guy's getaway. That'd be a fun, a fun thing to, um, you probably have to make reservations for those as well, I would assume. Yes, highly recommend reservations for those experiences. Um, also for restaurants, what's great is you can um, make reservations uh, in advance. So that's something that we saw come in the last year and a half um, as, you know, we were trying to be Vegas smart. Uh, we, so they've incorporated that and kept it. So it's really great if you want to get into some of those must-see restaurants or attractions. It's very easy to go and make a reservation in advance and we highly recommend doing that. Yeah, and I can speak to that the last time that I visited. I did take that to heart because I believe you and Kelly had mentioned that to me. And it made my vacation so easy. I just decided ahead of time where I was going to go eat. And it was easy breezy, just walk in and, and we were good to go. Didn't have to wait in line and worry about, are we going to be able to get into our favorite um, restaurant or something exciting that we want to try? So great tip there. Um, I'm loving these insider tips, Scott. And what do we got coming up next after attractions? Uh, oh, upcoming. That's what we got. What's coming? Yeah, no, I so spoke about some upcoming attractions. We have upcoming performances as well. Uh, so some of our headline residencies, Luke Bryan is here this month at Resorts World, one of the new theaters. Lady Gaga is going to be returning. Silk Sonic at the Park Theater, or actually Dolby Theater at Park MGM. Dolby Live, forgive me. Uh, and then, um, you know, uh, Adele is going to be returning in the summer. She had planned it for this spring, but had to postpone. So she'll be returning in the summer. We have Michael Buble doing a little limited engagement. And um, we've just got a lot of entertainment going on here in Las Vegas. Even a new uh, arena that's kind of going to be opening called the MSG Sphere or the Madison Square Garden Sphere. So more to come on that. But in 2023, we're going to have this um, dome that is faceted with LED lights throughout its entire exterior. It's going to be state-of-the-art and really immersive. And while you're seated, seated watching a performance, all your senses will be um, woken with, with their technologies that they have in that new facility. So more to come on that. Oh, and already next year it's going to be opening, huh? I thought it was going to yes. be more further out. So that quickly. And where it's is that going to be located? Now. Where is that going to be located? Oh, right behind the Venetian Resort. So it, it's oh, okay. coming up. It looks, it looks about three quarters done at this point. But yeah, like can't wait to see that come about. So another, you know, uh, unique ar architectural um, design that's going to, you know, change the look of the skyline here in Las Vegas once more. Yeah, and I like that it's all high tech and, and think it's very unique. Like I haven't heard of any other place having anything like this venue. So it that's will be the first a, a of its kind, point yes. of interest. Yeah. And um, I forget who you said was doing it, but I think they're famous, um, well known for what they do, the, the company that's building it. Madison Square Garden, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's right. You did say yeah. Madison Square Garden. So MSG <laughs> So Sphere. wow. That is yeah, I, I saw a video of that. They did a um 
replica of what it's going to look like and it just looks like pretty cool how many people are, are what's the size of it going to be how many i believe it's going to be about seventeen thousand uh seats in that facility. oh that's a good size not too huge still kind of you know, in the medium range of people. So I think that's gonna be an amazing experience. No, absolutely. Yeah, well, a lot of uh, things yeah, going uh, on. Definitely a lot going on. Um, so, you know, contact your travel advisor, find out the latest inside, insider tips, um, contact me. That's how I help Anna um, find out what's going on and to, sh to share with you so you can enjoy and make the most of your Las Vegas experience. Thank you so much. Yes, I am excited to, to come again. My my son is 25 and he loves Las Vegas. He's been there probably as many times as I have. So I love that there's something for all age groups. Like I'm in my 50s and I can go there and have a great time. Somebody in their 20s, whatever age you are, whatever interest level you have, there's something to offer for everybody in Las Vegas. And you're just a quick flight away or a drive away, depending on where you live. Um, so I love that there's no masks anymore. Make reservations. There's, a, of course, the sports, entertainment, restaurants, bars, never ending fun in Las Vegas. Um, is there anything else that you think that we need to add or that maybe we missed? Well, coming up soon, you mentioned sports again. We have the NFL draft that's going to be right on the Las Vegas Strip. Really cool experience right behind me. You can see the Bellagio Fountains. Uh, uh, they're going to actually do the red carpet right on the loaded on the fountains or on that lake. Um, there are uh, other experiences going to be behind the high roller, um, behind the, by the Caesars forum. Uh, so that will be in, in, at the end of April. So looking forward to welcoming the NFL draft and then the NFL Super Bowl will be coming to Las Vegas as well in 2024. So very exciting on the sports. Wow. Don't, don't forget that. Oh, job security for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's just a lot going on, and I'm so excited that you came to share with your insider tips, Scott. Um, if you're somebody like me that loves Las Vegas, or if you've never been to Las Vegas and you want to experience Las Vegas, reach out to myself or my team. And as Scott said, as travel agents, we're here to help you have the experience that you want, especially if you're putting together a group, girlfriend's getaway, bachelor, bachelorette, whatever occasion, special occasion, or even a romantic getaway or a wedding, we can help you kind of navigate that and put all the pieces together. I'll put my information in the chat below. And thank you so much, Scott. I so appreciate you taking the time to come out and share with us all the latest and greatest with Las Vegas. Thank you, Anna, appreciate it. Well, thank you for watching Anna's Travel Talk. And again, check out the information below in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Um, what are you most excited about? with all that we mentioned today with the new restaurants, with the sports, with the weddings, let us know below what is your favorite um, insider tip that you got from us today. So thank you for watching Anna's Travel Talk and make it a great day.